so I am back in Sweden and uh, in this video we're just gonna do a regular good old photo walk. I'm gonna use the Laowa 85mm on my Sony a7 IV camera. No flash or any other accessories, just this very simple but very joyful to use combination. And today we don't have like, it's not a great day to do macro photography to tell you the truth because it's pretty dark, it's cold, there are definitely no insects to be found and uh, yeah in general I don't know what I'm gonna <laughs> shoot today uh, but I also think that that is a great challenge to go out on a day like this and try to make something. I think this leaf here is a great subject. We have some interesting light and it's sitting on a branch that's sticking out. And uh, it's a pretty simple picture, but I love the look of these kinds of pictures. Shooting at a high ISO, f5.6 on my lens and 1 200th in shutter speed which is in most cases enough for close-ups and macro. You might notice that I sound perhaps a little bit different, hopefully better than my regular outdoor videos. And you might also notice that the video footage looks a little bit different. And that is because I'm using my brand new camera, the DJI Pocket 3, which has an external microphone wireless that I'm using right now and testing for the first time. And also a much bigger sensor than my previous DJI Pocket 2. So I'm really excited about this camera. I actually used it quite a bit in Japan. You can see my footage from there uh, in the video. I'm gonna link in the video description of this video. Uh, it's on my B channel where I post videos that are not about photography. So go check that out if you, if you like. I really love this camera, the DJI Pocket 3. It's amazing value for money. Sometimes when we lose interest and motivation to do photography, I think it's important to try to look back on like the basics. What was it that made me fall in love with photography? Try to remember that and do more of that. And for me, one of these things that I really love, that I really find joyful is to just go on a long photo walk with nothing but one camera, one macro lens, no flash, uh, no preconceptions of what I'm gonna shoot, just strolling around taking photos. I really love that and that is why I decided to do that today. These things look pretty interesting. Let's attempt to snap a photo. They weren't really as pretty in the camera as in real life. And unfortunately that is how it is with many different subjects, that they may look very beautiful in real life, but it's pretty much impossible to take a nice photo of them. And uh, for me, uh, it's been about learning what kind of objects might look good in a macro lens and what objects don't. And uh, yeah, try to learn that over time and then you don't waste as much time trying to photograph things that can't be made to look good in a camera. A lot of frost over here, so I'm gonna try to snap a couple of photos, see if I can capture it in a good way.
I have a new glove situation today. Uh, earlier I have always tried to use thicker gloves, even like gloves especially made for photography. But I always felt that they are too thick, which makes it too hard to use the camera and to access all the controls in a good way. So what happened during most winters was I found myself not using gloves at all when I was using the camera, which is of course not a great thing. So this year I decided that it's better to have thin gloves than no gloves at all. So I went into like a sports store, found these from Nike and so far they are great. Good grip here. They even are smartphone friendly so I can use uh, tablets and smartphones uh, with this on and uh, yeah they are warm enough I would say at least for today it's minus five degrees Celsius so it's pretty cold and uh, even though these are very thin they do the job. Also I don't feel hindered by them at all. I never feel like I have to take them off to do something like reach into a pocket or use the camera and that I think is the most important feature of these gloves. So yeah, I can warmly recommend you to try these kinds of gloves for photography. I think that one of the hardest things in this kind of macro photography is to try to find a good subject and a good angle so that you get as much as possible in focus despite a very shallow depth of field. And that is very, very tricky. And uh, yeah, you have to practice a lot to become good at it. I still don't feel like I am very good at it. Uh, but it's an important aspect of getting a good looking photo. Some interesting mushrooms here. They look pretty cute. Um, yeah, let's, let's try to take a photo and see what we can get. Okay, I think I'm gonna use a slightly lower magnification, 0 0.25. So we get a bit of the background as well. For most photos in this video I'm using an aperture of f5.6 because I think that that gives a pretty good balance in most cases between decent depth of field and a nice out of focus background. Also like enough light to get a pretty noise free photo even though I'm shooting at ISO 2000. How interesting that there are raspberries here, untouched and uh, still looking like healthy despite it being winter. Not sure if I can take a good photo, maybe. It's kind of hard. Light isn't great here. That was a bit of an unexpected find. I discovered that it was really hard to find subjects with frost on them in the forest. I see that there is a lot more frost here in an open area like this, especially this little mini mountain. Here there is a lot more frost and here we have one of my favorite winter macro photography subjects which is rose hips covered in frost. Usually can make for a pretty good photo uh, even though I would prefer to have more snow outside because then the background could be white but yeah let, let's see what we can get with these. great thing with this wireless microphone I'm wearing now is that I can actually talk to the camera even though I'm far away. <laughs> Amazing. 
I love you DJI. Shooting at a magnification of one. Pretty good for this. In this situation I would actually love to have my OM1 camera because I would be able to do some automated stacking. But I don't always want to bring that set up because it's such a pain to go through the thousands of photos you will get and to try to make stacks. That is so much work so sometimes I feel like I'm dreading that kind of work and I just want to go out old school like this. Just snapping single photos <laughs> because the post processing will be so much more fun and easy and quick. Uh, so that's the reason I don't always use my OM1. Also, when shooting without a flash, it's great to have a full frame camera. You have a lot of dynamic range. You can use high ISOs, you can crop a lot, no problem. So, I mean, a full frame camera uh, has its benefits also in macro photography. Sometimes it can look really nice if you have a few rose hips in the background blurred out to give a bit of color and a bit more dynamic image. So then I look for subjects where you have some other ones in the background with a good distance of maybe 10 to 20 centimeters. Also, I try to rearrange the background when possible by just holding branches like this. We have some thorns here, is that the right word? Trying to get some clean ones with good symmetry. Yeah, maybe that was a decent shot, maybe not. <laughs> you be the judge. Here we have some beautiful leaves. I'm gonna try to snap a photo of them. Yeah, this is beautiful. I'm really super happy with this last photo of these uh, leaves that have like a little bit of green in them. Uh, I'm so happy with that one. And uh, yeah, let's end the video here on a high note <laughs> because I'm starting to get really, really cold. These gloves, while they are amazing, they have started to give in now because I haven't had my hands in my pockets in a while. Uh, so I'm gonna start heading home and uh, hope you enjoyed this video.